In this video, I'll be highlighting a new enhancement in PCDMIS 2024.2 that significantly improves the capabilities of adaptive scanning. Adaptive scanning is a built-in strategy within certain PCDMIS auto feature types, such as auto circle, cylinder, and cone. It automatically assigns scan settings, such as scan path and approach parameters, based on the selected auto feature type. These settings are predefined within the measurement strategy, but can be adjusted by the user. I'll demonstrate this technique using an auto circle. When choosing adaptive scanning as a measurement strategy, I am given access to five new tabs that allow me to fine-tune the scanning parameters. In this demo, I'll focus on the advanced tab, where you can see the settings for point density, scan speed, acceleration, and offset force. With the release of version 2024.2 comes the addition of a drop-down menu for scan parameters, giving the programmer the choice between Auto, Global, and Custom. Previous versions had an override checkbox, which, when enabled, allowed you to edit these values. In this latest version, Auto is the default setting and will populate these fields based on predetermined parameters and can be altered by changing tolerances in the Setup tab. The custom selection works the same way the override checkbox did in previous versions, where users can manually edit any value in these fields. The global setting is brand new to version 2024.2. When selected, PCDMIS applies the current global scan parameters, which are set using the option probe and scan speed commands. I'll close out of this dialog and demonstrate how it works. With my cursor at the end of the program, I'll open Parameter Settings by going to Edit, Preferences, Parameters. You can also press F10 on your keyboard to open this dialog. Let's first go to the Motion tab and increase our scan speed to 80 millimeters per second and press Apply. Notice that a command line showing this change has been added to our edit window. Keeping the dialog open, let's go to the Probe Options tab these are the settings that control the capabilities of your analog scanning probe. The settings in the upper portion of the window should only be changed by an experienced technician. The bottom of the dialog contains the scan parameters, which is what we'll be changing. The point density and acceleration can be changed here by the user to suit their programming needs. Let's change point density to 6 points per millimeter and acceleration to 180 millimeters per second, then press apply. Doing this will trigger a warning that you have changed machine-specific parameters. I'll answer yes that I'm sure about the change. Notice again that a command line has been added to our edit window showing our new parameter for point density and acceleration speed, in addition to the command line above showing our new scan speed. Going forward in the program, these settings now become the new global parameters for our probe until they are changed. Let's open our auto circle dialog again and apply these new global settings. As you can see, these settings now match the parameters we just changed for point density, scan speed, and acceleration. Keep in mind that these settings will be remembered the next time I open an auto circle. So, going forward, every auto circle will default to adaptive scanning and with global scan parameters. Prior to this enhancement, there was no link between our global parameters and adaptive scanned features. They were essentially independent of the global parameters. Note that we can also change this setting on the fly when using quick features. Analog scanning is an extensive and in-depth topic that I've only really scratched the surface on in this video. If you've downloaded this latest version, I'd encourage you to explore this new programming option. Well, that's all I've got for today. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.